Justin Brooks, man. T Grizzly himself with the KO victory in the second round, man. Tell us how you feeling. I'm feeling good, yo. You know, we just got off the camera with the weigh-in, and now we're back with the weigh-in. So, guys, I just want to let you know I had a great time in there. I am a humble guy, so, you know, thanks to my opponent for coming out. Man, we just want to go and do some more. <laughs> it was the first round, you know, so I feel like I'm fresh. I can go again next week, maybe tomorrow, so I'll be back in the gym tomorrow. So I wasn't under the lights, no headgear, smaller gloves. No difference, bro. I had so many fights now as an amateur that, honestly, to tell you the truth, it's just another fight, you know what I mean? Just uh, got to do what I got to do. At the end of the day, I have a goal, and I got to reach it. You feel me? That's amazing. So 2022, you already know what it is. Before summer, summer started off, you started yeah. off with a bang. Yeah. What we got coming up next, man? Give us the Like I said, again. like I'm ready to go. Um, we're looking at leaving and getting a couple of fights, maybe three in a row. Um, and that, like, Anywhere in particular? Uh, Colombia, there's so many places, man. Mexico or something like that. But uh, we want to stay active. Uh, stay active, keep the hype going. And uh, if I get in a role in Spider-Man, if you guys can get me on a uh, Marvel Cinematic Screen, let's do that. Let's do that, because you know I'm the superhero. So, uh, and I need to think of a name. So if anybody knows any good names that I can have is, you know, like a spark name, you know? Like I just go as Tristan Brooks, and I like it like that. But if anybody, if you think that you got the right name for Tristan Brooks, I'm waiting for it. So for those young fighters out there that's looking to take the plunge into the program, what would you say was oh, the have... most, was, was, was what surprised you the most about getting in there tonight, from going from the amateurs to the pros? For those young fighters that might have me on the fence about it. Ah, uh, man, you know, when you're a young fighter and you're nervous about going to the pros, I don't know if you ever heard of this phrase of uh, just jump. Just jump. Go for it. You know, if you have the experience and you're ready to, to be the, the person that you want to be, well, this is the time for that. So if you're a young fighter and you're, you're looking to go pro and stuff like that, just take the leap. Take a leap of faith. Go for it. Don't, don't hold back. You can hold back for a long time and it'll be too late. So don't let it be too late. Jump for it. Go for it. the biggest goals and, and look at these guys as your oppositions and do what you got to do. And give respect to every opponent. Yeah, give respect. Give respect to every, every opponent. opponent. Like I told you, right? Yeah, keep it humble. Keep it humble and give respect to every opponent. Every opponent and the coaches. <laughs> That's why we got the coach himself. Man. Talk to us from your standpoint outside the ring. How was the fight on from your standpoint? How was the fight? From your standpoint, yeah. The fight was great. I um, didn't expect that, but I did. I predicted that he would drop in. Mm -hmm. With, but I didn't think it was going to be so early. Okay. So it was a good fight. It was a good first fight. It was a good debut. And I'm glad to have Chris yeah. Solomon. We have another what, coach and come in. Come in. How come in? Yeah. 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 Well, show his face for a second. That's good. There he is, man. You got a nice Like and follow. <laughs> also, also, coaches like, you know, Dwight Fraser. Yeah. yeah. And He's you're always Judah. supporting us. You're always going to be here. You're out Judah. From the you know. States, these guys, yeah. I have to show appreciation and thank them for all their knowledge and support. Yeah, for me personally, I want to thank du Dwight, you know, because, you know, without him, he, he was helping me a lot. So I want to thank him. And then I want to thank Yoel. He's probably watching right now, Yoel Judah. Um, just, you know, thank you for helping me over in the States. Uh, I'll be back. Are we coming there. back up there? Yeah. We're coming there. They're going back over there. One hundred percent. So we thank yeah. you very much, man. Um, we're first one out tonight, or what? and we're looking to, you know what I mean. Do everything You're doing a great job. Uh, yeah. The win. You guys are doing a great job. I watch all your interviews, and I see yeah. when. Chris's guy won the fight and you're, you know, pumping up. Very have to. good. This is a new I, generation. That's it. This is what Toronto or Canada needs. Not this bullshit. You know, fake shit. We're yeah. doing real shit, real boxing, promoting it the way it's supposed to be promoted. Yeah. Not none of this bullshit what they're doing. And there's in the amateurs as well, they're doing some bullshit. I'm sick of it. So now we're coming out with fighters. We ain't gonna have to depend on no judges. We ain't gonna depend on no 
no bias refereeing and none of that bullshit. We come in taking it down, we taking it off. Shit. But we we shouldn't shit. have to worry about that. Let's just make sure that sick we of shouldn't this have to worry bullshit. about it. Yeah, the amateurs, you know, there's some crazy stuff. But the only thing about. we want about right now is KOs. Yeah, KOs. Let's <laughs> start off the right way. <laughs> KOs all day. Yo, guys, let's yeah, go. Listen, we appreciate I guess, yeah. Let's good. do this. I got Blessing, how do we even get out of here? That way, up the stairs. All right.